Hello again everybody and uh, welcome to uh, Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit finicky when it wants to start anyway. So we're doing a new game. Now then, uh, if you want to get technical, I already recorded beating this game. The main problem with that is, well, I'm pretty sure the thing I was uh, saving the recordings went out, which is a big problem seeing as I uh, already co recorded about 70 to 80 videos, so yeah, that's a bit of an annoyance. Anyway, you gotta go over and collect magazines. There's three of them in this area. Two, two outside, one in the house. Don't bother going upstairs. Talk to, uh... Master Roshi, I think that's what his name is, and... Uh, It should reach level two. So he runs off and Maybe, may not. I, I, I thought flying would be easier, but whatever. Anyway, you use Nimbus to go to your house. You can actually go around and kill the miscellaneous snakes and squirrels, which I'd highly suggest being at least level 3 before you go, get too far. Which, well, uh, Actually, you can fight some crabs, which give uh, much more experience, which, well, yeah, the, this game actually has experience than uh, snakes and squirrels. I would highly suggest staying away and attacking them r with range, be because seriously, uh, these things really do hit hard. As a matter of fact, why these things hit hard on this game? Uh, let's see here. That's right, you hit R for, uh, for your flying ability. And you only got a limited amount of uh, time to actually move. It's good for a uh, quick getaway just in case you get cornered. Just, just be warned that uh, the instant you get hit, you aren't going to be able to fly until after you hit R again. Well, as I know, snakes don't actually kill, actually hit you. But anyway, I would highly suggest killing whatever you come across, because seriously, you'll be needing the experience. Yeah, you should get level 4 before leaving this area. Yeah, as I said, the, uh, a lot of these enemies are going to do quite a bit of damage. I, I know that Goku's is supposed to be a Saiyan and is supposed to have taken out uh, King Piccolo at this point, but apparently the most dangerous er thing in this area are wolves. Which, there's a lot of them. I would highly suggest trying to weaken them from a range and, uh, you, you see that red flashing? That means you actually hit something. If, you, if you're missing, which is very easy to do on this game, uh, 
Yeah, you better just move away and re readjust yourself because seriously, you're going to need to make sure you hit the enemy before you get too far in fighting them. I'll also be warned that uh, when things like wolves and crabs and such are under the backdrop, under the scenery, they can hurt you. Which is a bit of an annoyance seeing that uh, there's a lot of scenery in this game. As I said, make sure you are hitting. Because seriously, you're going to need to make sure of that. I would highly suggest collecting whatever herbs and such you can get. Well, I guess I don't need anything in this area. Just, just watch your uh, HP because seriously, it's pretty easy for it to go down. Yeah. So, sometimes herbs are just all green. They can have red berries on them too. They, they all uh, quarter health. Anyway, in this area, you gotta make sure you collect the rocks. You'll be needing them. I know that dinosaur may seem like an enemy, but it's not. Anyway, that's the first rock, I think the second rock down here. As I said, make sure you fight things out of the scenery, because seriously, it's way too easy to just uh, mash buttons and mess all the time. Okay. Yeah, you'll see three wolves here. Try drawing just one of them at a time. If you can. Yeah, you'll be getting a very useful attack later on in this episode. I'd say about the 20 minute mark. Or may less depending on how well I'm doing. Which is actually uh, a lot better than I thought I'd be doing. As I said, watch your HP because seriously it just goes down. Anyway, you can talk to uh, Tien and Chiaotzu for, I think it was 500 experience points each. Okay, apparently I'm running out of uh, flying energy. That's alright, let's see here. Yeah, you need at least, I'd say, five flying energy for this next part. 
Well, actually, I think less than that, but we'll see. It's also, uh, I should also tell you that you can't actually turn when uh, charging up an attack. That, that being said, make sure that the enemy is going to still be there when you're, you release your attack. Yeah, just sort of fly away when that thing gets too close. Which really shouldn't be too much of a problem seeing that there's a uh, fly flying energy sphere that re reappears every so often. Yeah, just watch out for when you are a wall of... Uh, because uh, it'll just sort of reset if you're on a uh, area you can't land on. There we go. 440. Okay, get the last rock. And, well, actually, no, that's an A game. Alright, fly across. Get some uh, flight power and... <clears throat> Let's see here, I think the last rock is in the north part of this area. Alright, this rock. There should be some herbs uh, down here if you're low on health. Alright, make sure you got free stones, well rocks, stones, whatever you want to call them, and... Watch out for the uh, snakes and wolves. I think there's actually one wolf here. Boy, I really need to watch for my HP. Alright. Place the free stones here and... Level 6 speed increases. Yeah, you, you actually get faster depending on uh, how many things you've done, not your level. That being said, uh, as your level increases, uh, it doesn't actually increase your speed. So make sure you're healed up and... Well, I almost forgot about that. Uh, make sure you go and talk to the Paradacto over here first. Alright. Make sure you got enough to fly over the river. I'm pretty sure you could fly down where uh, that camp was too, but this is probably the more common way. And uh, you can bother dealing with uh, the dinosaur there, but I really don't recommend it.
I think it gives like 2,000 experience if you do though. Anyway, you gotta do some things in this forest. Probably the easiest of which you're going to need some white power for. Fly over to the center pond, get the bolt, grab the flying spear, and give him his bolt back. You can actually talk to uh, Yamcha and QR. I think that's the name of that tap thing. Uh, I think you get a thousand, well, apparently 500 each for them. Anyway, if you can destroy the dinosaur from a distance, I would really recommend it. Also, watch out because uh, sometimes it tries flying down to you. As I said, make sure the enemy is going to be right in front of you if you're fine doing that. Okay. Oh, you gotta bring this little girl home and, well... You're gonna be up there again later, so... I think this is her own. I think you gotta talk to the father. I have hundred experience points. Okay, eight oh five. Make sure you get as much health as you can. Uh, let's see here, I think you can carry up to three Sinzu beans and four herbs. Anyway, fly up here and uh, deal with some wolves. Back to the cat. with some more wolves. Then if you remember where that dinosaur was, uh, go over to here. Deal with the dinosaur. My dry trying to take too long. Well, pretty much be needing full flight points at this point, though. Alright, now that's the very least 8 flight points, you're going to need them. Go to the very far north you can and uh, grab it with one prey flower. Go down, if you got enough fly across here, fly, fly across there and Uh, 
go over here and talk to that uh, boy right next to the girl's house. Okay, level 7. You'll have to be dealing with, what, at the very least, one more wolf. As I said, make sure uh, the enemy flashes red, so you make sure you hit him. Bring Nico back to this uh, guy. Talk to this guy, and... Leave, he, he'll actually uh, give you something. The solar flare. Which is definitely the most useful thing in the game. I'm not even going to argue the point as a fact. Anyway. Now then, uh, make sure you have uh, full HP and hopefully uh, flight points and... Immediately fly, fly out if uh, you can, and if not, if not, immediately use solar flare. Seriously, this is going to be the most useful one. I mean, you should be able to get three or four hits in before they start moving again. Just in case, have some flight points. So you can just fly away. Now then, if it's just a one second charge attack, uh, I'd highly suggest just hitting him twice. That's true for pretty much any enemy in this game. Thankfully, that speed increase should give you uh, just enough to just run that away from him. When saving for uh, more energy. Yeah, you can also get stuck on uh, herbs and such, so make sure you can pick them up when possible. Alright, four fells. And Piccolo's been standing there for maybe about three or four minutes. Uh, yes, now attack. And apparently he doesn't get uh, any sort of uh, animation to do an attack like Special Bean can. Alright, now then you gotta wait for the, uh... I, I guess it is the right in this one. I'm pretty sure it's uh, the left in one of the newer ones. Anyway, Snake Way. I don't think they actually recover any of your stats. Anyway, uh, make sure you stay out of the, uh edge of snake way because seriously uh, the sharp edges will actually hurt you. You should be able to fly uh, across some of the shorter areas. Yep, the snake point. Again, same tactic. I don't think this one has any blast attacks. Alright, 3500. 
and just keep going. And eventually there should be a cutscene. Yeah, namely that one. And you'll uh, reach here. You can actually attack the spirits that are moving around. The ones that are stationary, uh, well, they don't actually do anything. Watch out if you do attack any of the spirits and make sure you kill them because seriously they have high attack. Uh, before I forget, I'm pretty sure you gotta activate this cutscene up to the north. Yeah, talk to this guy. As I said, don't try talking to the spirits unless you want to fight them. They, they give a thousand experience each. Which is pretty good, but... Uh, Well, it's going to take 11 of them to even get close to my next level up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Which reminds me, uh, I really should mention that. If you want to fight more enemies in one area without actually moving, say... Save the game, exit, and then uh, reload it, and it should reset all the enemies. Even the ones you killed. The spirits are not actually aggressive unless you try killing them first. Anyway, you gotta fly down here, or walk down here, whichever comes first. Talk to this guy. Or, well, I think. Or maybe you gotta talk to that blue guy next to the tree first. You know, remove the barrier for you. Yep, after tying to that guy. Over, take the flying orb. Fly down. And talk to this guy. And you should be able to take the stationary one. As in the uh, spirits that aren't actually moving. Yeah, like that one. Damn. You gotta grab them one at a time. As you can see, I actually lose flight points pretty rapidly. It, it, that, they even get lost even if you don't move any. Anyway, you gotta get the other two. I'm pretty sure there's only three of them.
Which one should be up here. Go back uh, all the way around again. Yeah, you'll you'll be getting plenty of flight orbs. I'm pretty sure it's down here. Now you can make your way north. Oh, I hope that didn't make him hostile. Well, apparently not. Okay. Well, apparently you gotta go up north to get there. Yeah, another thing, make sure your stats are all full before you start moving. Before you start using, before you start grabbing. Well, gee, I, I lost my train of thought there. Anyway, uh, Yeah, you, you can't collect any more than the maximum amount of the item. Okay, so I think this is the last spirit, so you gotta go over and... Uh, ...back to the blue guy again. I also don't think you can actually uh, move through the spirits. Alright. So you gotta go over back to where the tree was. I don't think you even have to talk to the blue guy. Yeah. Let's keep going. Go through and try to take in the fruit. Yeah, that ain't a good surprise. Thankfully, there's a bunch of flight orbs, so uh, you should be able to just sort of fly across no problem. true. Okay, it didn't take that long. Alright. As I said, don't touch the railings if you can help it. Anyway, I just start from that corner and go 
to the uh, upper right left corner and uh, that's that. Anyway, uh, I would highly suggest having flight or flight energy for this. Alright, you have to had to catch the uh, monkey. How hard is this? Well, it all depends. And how well you can maneuver your flight. Anyway, just wait a while for Flight Orb to appear. It should eventually. That, since Bubbles isn't a uh, hostile character, I don't think the... Uh, well, actually, no, you can't actually use any energy for this one. Except for flying. Yeah, during the first uh, recording, I really didn't have this much of a... Oh, that's why I wasn't hitting the wrong button. Whoops. Alright. Yeah, this can either be really easy or really hard, depending on... Uh, whether or not it gets cornered. Or whether or not it wants to get hit. There we go. Again, I, I was doing a lot better during my first recording. It's too bad that I was one guy corrupted or something. I mean, I, I really don't know what exactly is wrong with this thing, but it sure ain't working right. Anyway, just bop him on the head and... Uh, King Kai doesn't teach the Kamiami Eye, he teaches a spirit bomb. Or spirit blast, depending on what, what you want to call it. Anyway. So, uh, Goku's witch back, and you gotta fly down. From the right, I think it was. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and beat Vegeta and them before actually ending this episode. Anyway, talk to this kid. And go south. Now I forget uh, if there's three or four of them, but you can actually get that capsule somewhere here. Yeah, the Kamiami I wave is well a wave. Hey, it can it's more dangerous than your. Uh, than your normal key blast, but 
I would highly suggest that. Uh, I would highly suggest keeping it with the solar flare because it's generally overall just better. Anyway, before I forget, uh, I think it's this area over here in the far... Oh, that's right, you can't actually get through there until after you deal with everything. Alright. Ah, yes, the bank robbers. Yeah, just make sure you aren't actually on a uh, linear area because they're when they uh, when they try attacking you because they shoot bullets. Also, make sure you don't leave the area because that resets their HP. I think. It'd be a lot easier if uh, they, they'd stay away from the bank door. I'm pretty sure you can enter the bank. Yeah, it's easier just to draw them out from the scenery. As I said, uh, you really don't want to deal with things in scenery. Or get uh, caught on certain pieces of scenery. I'm pretty sure they can do a lot more damage than that. Especially for me, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm used to being a level 10 in this area. Let's see here, there's three of them, so I, I don't think it actually resets their numbers if you do leave the area. So then where is the last one? Yeah, if, uh, if you can't find the last one, just exit out of the uh, area. Yeah, you gotta give the kid back to his mother. And uh, come back out, and while well, the, the, the places that they're supposed to be should be reset. There we go. For the living ones, anyway. As I said, uh, if you can get them out from under the scenery, that's a good idea. Yeah, the Kamiyami auto attack has a shorter range than your normal blast attack. Okay, 1500. And now before I turn in the capsules, I'm pretty sure there's one more just to the right of the closed off area. It shouldn't actually be closed off anymore then.
Well, at least I thought there was. Oh well, I guess not. Anyway, with uh, all the capsules in hand, I'm pretty sure that I always thought there were three of them, but I guess there's only two. In the uh, north west part of town, you should be able to go in and talk to this guy, and uh, it'll give you 1500 XP. Okay. Alright, wait, I think he does. And after that, yes, wait. If you can get flight energy, I'd highly recommend it. Of course, it's not really necessary. Make, make sure you have solar flare on. Seriously, that's going to be a very important uh, Yeah, I guess that's just herbs. Solar Flare is going to be one of the most important abilities you're going to have in this game. Alright. Talk to Nappa. As I said, just fly away from them the instant they start to fight. Because they got a high tendency of getting the first hit if you uh, stand right next to them when you talk to them. Yeah, just use hit and run tactics. And try not running out of uh, flight energy. If you can help it. I think Goku's actually slightly faster than Nappa. At this point. Remember that solar flare actually works anywhere on screen. You don't necessarily have to be pointed at them. Yeah, I really don't like it when they stop moving, but it just makes it. Uh, pretty much it just means that uh, if you did use all your energy charging for a normal key blast or something, you're pretty much you just, you just wasted that energy since they aren't going to move towards you. Anyway, after you uh, pounded him for a good while, he should go down 20,000 experience. Did I really just go up two levels? I guess I did. Anyway, Vegeta is automatically going to be in battle mode, so you don't have to talk to him. Pretty much the same tactic. Yeah, he has a uh, bad tendency of actually moving. He moves constantly when you're not around, and well, he has the ability of using the uh, blue blast. Which I really don't know what the difference is between uh, Goku's Blast and Vegeta's Blast, but I'm sure there is one somewhere. Anyway, you'll know when he's half health because he's going to start to attack it.
Another fairly good strategy is to uh, stun them and then use your key attacks. Of course, I I'd still highly suggest using the solar flare and just punching them. Again, if you miss, don't bother trying to readjust unless you got time to. As I said, that's about the half health mark. Remember, the longer you charge up in the, the solar flare, the longer they have to be frozen. Of course, I, I would highly suggest limiting yourself to at the most five attacks. Unless you got enough flight energy to fly away before the, uh, the instant they unfreeze. Anyway, after a bit more time, must have got switch there. Yeah, you, you see how much HP uh, Vegeta can take out. That was one attack. Seriously, it's very easy to die on this game. Without solar flare tactics. Come on, come on over here. He will eventually come to you. Which, well, apparently he's not. Okay. Yeah, you can't actually use the solar flare ability until uh, everything's actually recovered from it again. There we go. 3,000 XP. Alright, so... Vegeta gets mad. Which, uh, I should have told you that's all here, but you can find Yaj of Obi in the uh, north west corner, I think, of the screen. And I know that was either northwest or northeast. And he cuts off Vegeta's uh, tail. So Vegeta just sort of stands there while, uh, yeah.
Okay, so after going to the hospital, apparently they didn't do a very good job because uh, your HP's still down. I, I guess you can collect up to six herbs. I, I don't know why I always file with four. Okay, well, I am going to end this episode here. Uh, that, that being said, uh, I hope everybody has a good day.